y'all. Welcome to Restless Chipotle Kitchen. Well, it is still hotter than hell's pizza oven in here, and it's been 107, 108, 109 degrees for weeks on end. I think it's been five weeks now. Um, so I am not in the mood to bake, and I am not in the mood to do a lot of cooking. So today, we're making something that you can get on the table in about Mm, 15 20 minutes it's hearty it's delicious it's family friendly and you're gonna love it well y'all since you liked the uh super easy meatballs the other day i thought we would do another batch of meatballs another recipe that only takes about 20 minutes to make it has almost no prep time it's absolutely delicious and definitely family friendly you're going to need egg noodles. I like the wide ones and the recipe calls for a pound of egg noodles or 16 ounces of egg noodles which is a pound obviously um, but you can use anywhere from a half a pound to a pound and a half depending on your family's tastes, your family's budget and how many extra people you've got at the table. One of the things that I really loved about this recipe when my kids were growing up is if they brought a friend over unexpectedly for dinner I could just add more noodles and it would stretch. Okay, this is great for that. So the egg noodles, anywhere from a half a pound to a pound and a half, and you know the recipe is gonna be down below. Sour cream, we're, we're okay, I can say this when I'm not trying to say it on video, y'all. We're, you know, the W sauce, we're Cestuchere. And I know, I know for a fact that there's at least 25 people out there that when I was trying to say this, y'all were talking to the to the screen and saying it the right way. I really can say it the right way, just not when I'm talking on video. Beef broth, beef stock. The difference between beef broth and beef stock is very negligible, but, and you can use either one. Stock has usually like, uh, it's beef, bones, and usually meat scraps that are simmered with onions and carrots and celery and herbs and spices and all of that. Beef stock is the beef bones and scraps that are is simmered just in water with maybe some salt, but usually not a lot else. Uh, the stock has a lot more flavor and I prefer it, but you can use either one. Butter onions and the onions are not in the recipe on the blog so on the blog the recipe calls for uh, mushrooms and I will be honest with you my family does not eat mushrooms now we they'll eat the cream of mushroom soup but it's really hard to get them to eat mushrooms so I'm making this for dinner and I'm leaving them out you can leave them out you can add them in whatever you want to do Onions, the onions are not on the recipe on the blog, but I like a lot of onion flavor, and so I'm adding um, just one onion, but that's probably a cup and a half right there. Um, the cream of mushroom soup, two cans. The a pound of meatballs, more or less, just kind of up to you and how many people you have to feed and how hungry they are and how big their appetites are. Okay, and then salt and pepper. And that's basically it. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to melt some butter in the pan and we're going to saute the onions for a little bit. Um, let me show you the kind of pan I use because I love this thing and I will, it, you can get it on Amazon and I'll link to that below. Um, but this pan is amazing for doing one pan meals or like this where you're making a casserole on top of the stove. Okay, y'all. This is called an everything pan. Um, it's like a wok. It's It's got a cover so you can boil in it. You can fry in it. It's got high sides. I love this thing. It is also stained because I use it a lot. My kids use it a lot. And I don't have a budget for separate pans and utensils for just so they can look pretty. I don't know about you, but I don't throw pans out when they get stained. Um, I've had a, the only reason I'm saying that is I've had a couple of people make comments that my pans were stained and I just want to say yes they are because they're used quite often. Okay, we're going to melt this butter and this is about a tablespoon of butter. We're going to melt this butter in the pan. You could use olive oil if you want. I really like 
cooking onions and mushrooms and things in real butter, but you can certainly use olive oil. Uh, you could use a light vegetable oil, anything, that's fine. Did y'all see the video on brown butter last week? You did? Um, we don't want to do that with this butter. We just want it to melt. All right, it's melted really well. And we're just gonna put the onions in. And uh, I'm gonna just saute those for oh, just a few minutes until they start to soften up and um, start to get tender. If you really wanna bring some flavor out in them, you can caramelize them. And to do that, you would just put this heat on low and cover them and stir them every once in a while. Take about 20 or 30 minutes. Sometimes I do that, it adds a lot of flavor, but I'm not gonna do that today. You can see how they're starting to get a little bit translucent. I'm gonna let them go for a little bit longer. And be sure to stir these every once in a while, like every minute and a half to two minutes. You wanna move them around so that they don't start to scorch. All right. I'm going to put the meatballs in, and I'm sorry y'all, this is a darker part of my kitchen than the other side. I'm going to put the meatballs in, and they're still frozen, don't worry about it. They will thaw quickly. I'm going to put the W sauce in, turn the heat down a little bit, and I'm going to put in our beef stock, and give it a good stir, or a bad stir, whatever. I always thought that was weird, a good stir. Okay, we're gonna bring that up to a boil. Okay, and once it starts boiling, we're gonna put the cover on, and we're just gonna let that simmer for about 10 minutes. I'm gonna turn the heat down a little bit. And while I have been getting this ready, I have salted water coming to a boil on the next burner over. I'm gonna add the noodles so that they'll be cooked when this is ready to go. I'll see you in just a few minutes. Okay, it's been 10 minutes. We're gonna take the cover off. Hope that steam doesn't cloud up my legs too much. And the meatballs are all cooked and the onions are cooked and it all smells delicious. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add the cream of mushroom soup And if it seems like there's not enough beef stock, you can add more, okay? You want it to be a little saucy because the, the uh, cream of mushroom soup is gonna thicken it up some. So I've got a little extra beef stock over here in case I need it. So we're going to stir that up. My big spoon, not my little spoon. Stir that. And what we're basically wanting to do here is to make it um, come together so it doesn't look like it's curdled or anything, right? And it will. While you first start stirring it, it's going to look a little curdled. It's not going to be quite. It's not going to be quite together. It's not going to be quite mixed up. But it will. You'll see. Now we want to add the noodles. So you're going to drain them and just add them. And we're going to stir those in. And this is where it may possibly thicken up and you may want to put more stock in. I think mine is pretty saucy, but I still may put a little bit more stock in there. Doesn't that look good already? But we're going to let this simmer for about five minutes so that everything gets heated all the way through. At this point, you don't really need to cover it. You can if you want, it's not gonna hurt anything. Um, but you do wanna keep stirring it pretty regularly to make sure that nothing sticks to the bottom. So now, just let that go for about five minutes and then we'll be back. The very last thing that we're gonna do is, I usually turn the heat off for this, but you can just turn it to low. And I'm just gonna add the sour cream and stir that in. 
and once we stir the sour cream in, you really don't want to um, to bring it to a simmer or a boil. You just want it to, you just want to stir it in. Because if you bring it to a boil, the sour cream is going to curdle and um, you don't want that. You just want a nice creamy sauce. Look how creamy that is. It looks delicious to me. I don't know about y'all. Sounds like we've got some sirens outside. Okay. My goodness. It's okay, y'all. They're not coming to my house. All right. So, there it is. Doesn't that look good? Look at that creamy sauce. It's so, so easy. Okay, y'all. Here it is. We're all ready to dish it up. <clears throat> you can sprinkle a little parsley or a little green onion. I've got a little green onion. And uh, you can sprinkle a little of that on just to dress it up a little bit. And then really all you need to go with this is maybe a salad. Um, or some green beans or broccoli something like that just something a little green i like a salad because it adds a little crunch and then we're just gonna put those right on there like that creamy sauce lots of pasta or egg noodles whatever you want to call it lots of meatballs and i'll tell you a secret in my house we put a lot of pepper on top too. Put some on mine, and there we go. Fabulous, isn't it? So y'all, you can see why I love this pan, right? It just holds everything. It's fabulous. It's a little heavy, but this is so good. The um, the meatballs come out perfect. They're because they're already cooked. I mean. Yes, I could make meatballs by hand, and yes, sometimes I do. But you know, I'm busy, you're busy, and sometimes we just need to take advantage of convenience foods and get something on the table quick to feed our families. And that's what this meal is all about. I think you're gonna love it. I think your family's gonna love it. It's hearty, it's delicious, it's fantastic all year long. And um, yeah, I think that's it. So y'all, I'll see you next week, please come back. I love y'all. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye-bye.